Hi guys, Sniffin' Hard Force back, and today I'm bringing you a Meet the Scorpion. Which means I'm just gonna show some bunch of clips when I'm getting kills with a weapon, and I'm gonna stick to that kind of stuff. Uh, always make sure to like this video if you like it. If you don't like it, then dislike it, so I know what I'm doing wrong and such stuff. If uh, you hate it, then just say why, uh, and I see if what I can do better if you... Uh, so. You just uh, show me your support and uh, I'll make everything better, f hopefully. Because uh, uh, showing some bunch of clips is maybe boring, maybe you want to commentary like a whole game, uh, which can be hard for some of uh, these weapons in Black Ops are kinda lame. Um, but well, as historical, this uh, gun is uh, made in Czechoslovakia and we it's used. it was used in the 60s. Um, the <laughs> the kill uh, what we should call the damage on this gun is way way too much when it is when it comes to in real life uh, you know and in black ops the gun this gun uh, like take it some sort of five bullets to kill someone if you're using dual wield in real life it will one shot but uh, you know what I mean it's uh, way too powerful um, oh I died fuck. <laughs> But um, yeah, when it comes to Black Ops, this gun um, is not the one I recommend. I recommend it use, uh, using it dual wield, uh, though the gun is have extremely low on ammo, and you will probably go for scavenger and other stuff. So uh, this is not a submachine gun I really recommend in the Black Ops. There are much better submachine guns you can use, uh, which I will be uh, showing later on. So, uh, yes, uh, thanks for tuning into this uh, video and may also make sure to like the video and dislike it if you hate it. So, yeah, bye guys. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.